Ah, the new year, a fresh start, a bright new beginning for lots of people. One thing that isn't new though, is the type of running stereotypes that you're likely to see at this time of year. Here at The Running Channel, we don't take ourselves too seriously and we love to have a bit of fun. So here are some runner stereotypes that you might see out and about on your runs in January. Come on, own up. Are you any of these? Maybe you know someone who is. All of us here at The Running Channel have been at least one of these at least once. So have a guess in the comments who you think fits which one. I think I can play bingo and win with all of these stereotypes. Before we dive in though, please do hit subscribe to join the fastest growing community of runners in the world. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned for 2022. So if you want to be the first to know when new videos drop, then make sure you tap the bell icon. First up, Christmas present runners. These are the people who had running as the main theme of their Christmas wish list. So they had lots of gizmos and gadgets on their wish list. So we're starting off with all the gear and no idea. Got my new shoes on. Oh, wait, hang on. I think I've done the laces up wrong. What does that bit of the shoe do? Do I even need that? These are the people who've splashed out or got other people to on the top range of products but it might take them a little bit of time to figure out how they actually work. Right, let's go running. How do I start my new watch? Is there voice control on this thing? I want to go for a run. Next up, it's the All About Stats runner, which, as the name would suggest, for this runner, their number one priority is the numbers. Good morning. Just reviewing the last 24 hours of stats. Sleep count is up 17%, but sleep is down 15%, which could be something to do with a few too many at the Christmas party, but we will continue to monitor that. Training load, well, that's peaking, which is excellent to see. And, oh, what's this? A move alert. Oh gosh, I haven't moved enough in the last hour. I've got to go for a walk. I'm sorry, got to go. <laughs> Cheerio, God save the queen. Mm. Good speaking to you. <laughs> All the best. Amen. This runner is obsessed with the stats. So their running or any other kind of physical activity will be governed by what their heart rate monitor, their watch, their phone, their ring, or any other bit of tech tells them they should be doing. Whether you set New Year's resolutions or not, January is a great time to start thinking about your goals for the year. And so this next runner is the going for goals runner. Yep, it's that person who sets really big, sometimes a bit too big of a goal, and then tells you all about it in January. Just putting in my races for January. So I've got park run every single weekend. Then I've got a half marathon here, marathon here, ultra marathon at the end of the month. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, and I'm doing a run streak in January. So that's at least 1K every day. I'll just pop that in there. I'm doing this big January challenge. It's a thousand laps of a roundabout. I'm gonna change direction every 10 laps, I think, so I don't get dizzy. Now onto the park run January stereotypes. If you're getting into running, then Saturday morning park run is a great way to share your love of running and meet some new people. But in January, you're likely to spot a newbie based on some of the things that we've done in the past. And if you do spot a newbie, then help them out, as Parkrun is Saturday mornings. Got my barcode and off to Parkrun. Hopefully they can scan this. Maybe it's a bit too big. Uh, excuse me, yeah, um, where does the Parkrun start? Oh, where, where all those people are heading? Wow, I never even knew this was here. Hmm. I wasn't sure which one you're supposed to scan first. Oh no, I think I dropped the wrong one into the bucket. At the other end of the scale is the parkrun keen bean. This is the type of person who is a seasoned professional in the art of parkrun. And these are the traits you might spot on them. 
I'm on my way to park run. I can smell the PB. This is it. This is my time. I think if I take the third bend at a slightly different angle, then I can shave at least two seconds off. And then if I stick on the left hand side on the home straight, I'm ready for the final turn. And this is it. Let's do this. Just off for a bit of park run tourism. I'm aiming to do every single one in England this year. So that means a different one every weekend. This is the year I get my 250 park run t-shirt. I've got 52 park runs left to go, so I cannot miss a park run this year. Now onto the classic January runner stereotype. This one was definitely me for a few years before I finally got into running. And this one is called the One Run Wonder. Now this is the runner who has all the best intentions, but is left with a tally of one for their yearly runs. Just heading out to go out on my run. I am so excited for this. I'm gonna run four times a week, every week this year. This year is gonna be really, really great. and I'm gonna really, really enjoy it. That was awful. This running lap really isn't for me. If this is you or you know someone like this, then fear not, as we've got a video all about how to start running and keep going, even when you hate it. Next up, we've got the family runner. Now this is the runner who is determined to share their love of running with the rest of the family, whether their family wants to be part of the fun or not. Come on, folks, let's go. Getting my family involved in my running has actually been probably the best idea I've ever had. I mean, they're all so happy to get up in the morning. Even the dog's got a waggy tail at 5 a.m. They didn't particularly like it when I took them through that bog last week, but who doesn't like a muddy 5K, hey? Woohoo! <laughs> ah, the winter safety runner. These are the people who take the safety up to the next level. And you'll spot this person because the fluorescent yellow is, quite frankly, impossible to miss. The weather did say there was a 5% chance of snow today, so I'm putting my spikes on and I've put extra layers on as well, just in case. It doesn't look too bad out there just now, but it's definitely going to be colder outside. Oh, careful. Bit, bit of ice there. Oh, hang on. Another bit. I'm, I'm going to have to walk this bit. It's all a bit tricky. Oh, wait. That's a puddle don't have waterproof shoes on though, so best head back home. Now on to the ready for summer runner. As soon as Christmas is out of the way, this runner is ready and raring to go for the warmer weather. In fact, they already act as if it is summer. It's not that cold. Practically the height of summer here in the UK. I don't feel the cold at all. I don't think it's ever cold enough for anything other than short sleeves. Finally, the normal runner. This is the category that probably most of us slot into. Comment down below if this is you. This is the type of person who literally just sees in the new year, gets up, gets out, puts on their running gear, heads out the door, as if everything's just completely normal, like nothing's happened. Just keeps going, just gets on with it. Off we go. Normal. Just out on my usual 5K route, and looks like that person over there might have a new watch, probably a Christmas present. Lucky them. I just went past someone back there doing laps of a roundabout and they were there on my way out as well, well over an hour ago. <sighs> Must be a January challenge. Someone has just run past me in shorts and a t-shirt. Do not be fooled by this bright blue sky. It's minus two out here. They must be freezing. <laughs> So there you are, some January running stereotypes you might spot whilst out and about. Are you guilty of any of these or have they been you in the past? Let us know in the comments and give this video a like if any have or do apply to you. And we will see you next time on The Running Channel.